This is Matt with JBNA. Just wanted to do a brief overview of CatDB Enterprise Client and Web Client interaction. So I've navigated to a samples folder here and I'm bring in a single asset. So as I bring in this asset, um, I am in a blank catalog. I've not published this to the server, but I can come in and actually tag this with some markers. Just add a couple markers, go to a different point in time, add a marker here. And then we can go in and apply a drop down. So we'll go to Raging Bull, say, and apply De Niro as a tag. Let's go ahead and publish this to the server. And we'll call it test catalog one. And we'll go ahead and publish that to the server. And then that's going to automatically be published and available to the web client. So I'm going to go to my web browser, log into my CatDB web client. And I did that under the editors group. So test catalog one, there's my single clip and we should actually see the event markers I put in. And under user fields, we should see De Niro tagged. So let's mark this for editing. And let's change this to Martin. And let's go ahead and make this playable and add some additional event markers. So we'll add an event marker here and we'll call this test marker. And let's add one more marker just for good measure. Test marker two. And so now I've gone ahead and let's go ahead and add camera person, which uh, I believe this looks like a 49ers roster. And let's go ahead and write these and save changes. Now if I come back to my client, select this and refresh. We're actually going to see those event markers that I put in test marker, test marker two came in from the web client. And if I look, I can see that uh, my De Niro tag is now changed to Martin. So again, very quick and easy. Basically, stuff you do to catalogs created in the enterprise client are created here in the web client. And uh, we can both use HTML5 as I'm using right now, or we can use a QuickTime engine. Let's go ahead and apply this and use a QuickTime engine really quick. And we can see that the user controls change uh, ever so slightly. But again, we have the choice of using HTML5 or QuickTime as our codec engine in the web client. And again, markers and user-defined dropdowns appear in both the web client and the enterprise client.